Larissa Nicole and welcome back to my drifting desk where I help you conquer college. I am back with another back to school video of course because back to school time is my favorite time of the year and I did want to show you some of my bullet journal spreads that I'm using to help me conquer college. So I will be showing you some from my last year's bullet journal and how I was using spreads last year but then I'm also going to update you and show you how I've changed those spreads to better equipped for myself this year in my new bullet journal. There we go now you can see it. <laughs> so I will be showing you both of my bullet journals and showing different spreads and what I used last year and this year and just showing you how I use my bullet journal to conquer college and different spreads that I use to help me stay organized for the school year. Of course these are just a few of the things that I use. I will be adding more spreads so I can always do an updated video for y'all if you want it. If you do please give this video a thumbs up so that I know that you like videos like this and I can give that to you. And while you're at it Please make sure you hit the subscribe button down below, that way you don't miss out on any videos that I publish on more bullet journaling or back to school videos. So be sure to hit that little bell too. So without further ado, we are going to dive right into the video and I'm going to hand you over to the overview voiceover part of me. <laughs> Alright, so let's dive right in. The first page that we're going to take a look at is my 2018 quote of the year. I just wanted to show this before I started my school year because I think it's fitting for the school year. It's less perfection, more production. And that speaks to me because I want to stop being so perfect in everything that I do and just try to get as much done. Of course they want to do it well, but sometimes my OCD and perfection perfectionism takes away from me doing the job. So this is my quote of the year. So I'm going to actually apply this into my new spreads that I'm doing, making sure that they're more useful than just perfect. So then moving on to my first page of my academic kind of section of my bullet journal is my course checklist. My course checklist I have broken down by my major, which is psychology, my minor, which is women's gender and sexuality studies, my other minor, which is human rights, and then general education courses. So it's all pretty much set up the exact same way, so I will feature how many classes are needed for this and the credits that are needed for this and the minimum grade that I need for them to actually apply for graduation. And then I go into in-depth analysis of what criteria are needed for each kind of core of my classes. So I do have prereqs for psychology, which is intro to psych. I have data analysis and research kind of groups that I need to take, which are two classes of those, etc., etc. Once I figure out which class will qualify and fulfill this requirement, then I'll write it underneath the class tab. And then I will check it off once I've actually taken it. That way I can keep track of which class I've taken, which classes I haven't, and have a whole game plan for all of my classes. And I do the same for my women's gender and sexuality studies. And at the bottom, I just put a cute little quote that's kind of like a dictionary entry that says, Nasty woman, a confident, independent female who gets shit done. And again, I do the same thing for my human rights minor and for my general education courses. At the end of my gen eds, I did put another quote, just a simple quote that says, Everyone you will ever meet knows something you don't. My next spread is my semester over for autumn 2018. I do have my key up in the left hand corner. I drew pencils for the headers of all of my months as well as many notebooks to put down all of my information. So with this I'll be circling days that I have things planned on and then writing it onto the notebook on what it is using my color coding system and my colored pens that I like to write in my planner with that coincide with each of my classes. To give you an idea of how this worked I do want to show you my last year's bullet journal that way you can see how this spread worked for me and and kind of a different layout that I used for this spread. So this was last year's semester overview and it was pretty simple and I just kind of boxed the days that I had something due and then I wrote off to the right hand side on what was due and color coded it for my classes from last year. My next back to school spread is going to be my timetable that I kind of made to look like lockers and then I still have my color coding system up in the right hand corner this time for autumn 2018 and in red I put the times. I only have classes from about 9.30 until about 2.30 on any given day so I only did from 8 to 3 but of course you can do it depending on what classes you are taking. So on each day basically I'll be taking my color coded pen or pencil and coloring in that I have yoga from 9am until 10am and just drawing that box on every Monday. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Again, I'm just going to give you a quick look at last year's bullet journal. That way I'm able to show you how this worked out. I don't want to share any of my personal information from this year. So this is my timetable last year. I just had it looking like blocks. And again, I put different colors for when I had certain classes. That way I knew what was going on every day of the week. Right next to my timetable is my class information sheet, which I made to look like little books. And I wrote the name of each class on the book. On the right hand side, I will be taking my fine liner once I am done filming this video because 
because again, I want to keep my information private. But once I'm done with this, I will be putting my professor's name, his email, my TA, their email, office hours, the location, etc. Anything, any need to know information I will put on this page to the right of the book. And I'm sure you saw it when I was just showing you the last page, but I will show you last year's. This was my class info page from last year. It was just a couple boxes. Again, I just wrote the class name and some key information right next to it. The next back to school spread that I have in my bullet journal is my assignment log. This year I decided to do something a little different with my assignment log. I will show you last year's just so you can see what I mean by different. My assignment log from last year was just a bunch of lines and I would write down which assignment and use my color coding so I would know what class that assignment was for and then check it off when it was done. This year I decided to make it more unison and then each class gets their own column. So let's say on September 1st I have reading for my international studies class, reading for my my African American class and a yoga assignment. That way I can write those in those three and see that I have nothing due for dance or psych on that date. That way when I'm scanning through this whole page I can see what is due on each day for all of my classes instead of trying to do it vertically searching for a date and then searching for a color it kind of flows against horizontally. The last back to school page that I wanted to show y'all is just a tiny half page because I'm not going to fill out the other page yet. For back to school I decided to do a half page of a habit tracker with some colored pencils. My full page habit tracker will go right next to it and it will feature full size colored pencils going from 1 to 31 but since school starts on the 21st of August I just did little colored pencils and each of these colored pencils will stand for one thing that I wanted to track whether that's making it to all my lectures doing homework, doing extra homework, going to office hours, etc, etc, planning each of these things, and then I can color in a little bit of the colored pencil every day that I do something. That way at the end I hopefully have a full colored pencil to track all of my good habits. And since I only used a half of a colored pencil at the top, I just did a funky quote, kind of written a little funky, so if you can't read it, I'm sorry, but I'll read it to you. It says, if you don't choose your habits, your habits will choose you. All right, so we'll do one last little flip through of all these pages, and I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful, and I am so excited for school to be back because back to school time is my favorite time of the year. I always love doing as many videos as I can. I love shopping, I love moving, I love setting up my dorm rooms, and I just love school in general. So if you have any suggestions for back to school videos that you'd like to see from me, please post them down below. I would love to hear them. I love to hear what you guys like to see. And I do want to say good luck on the upcoming year. I hope that you have tons of fun, that you are successful, and you are safe. Before you go, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and click that notification bell. That way you get notified every time I post a new video. And I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Bye!